Okay, so let's talk about a huge announcement from OpenAI back in October 2025. This wasn't just another update, it was a total reinvention of what ChatGPT is. They're basically transforming it from a thing you just chat with into a powerful assistant that can actually do things for you. So let's break down what this massive platform shift really means for all of us. So let's get right to the heart of it. Just imagine for a second, what if your AI could do more than just talk back to you? What if you could tell it, hey, book my flight to Denver, or take these notes and turn them into a presentation, or even find me a two-bedroom apartment near a park? See, that's the big leap here. We're moving from just conversation to real-world action. And here is the single most important takeaway. ChatGPT is no longer just a tool. It's becoming a full-blown platform. I mean, think about what the App Store did for the iPhone, right? It just unleashed this entire ecosystem of creativity and utility. Well, that is the exact same playbook that OpenAI is running with here. All right, so first up, let's look at this from our perspective, the user's perspective. Because this isn't just some new feature tucked away in a menu. Nope. This is like getting a brand new superpower right inside a chat window you already know how to use. And you know, the best part? It's ridiculously simple to use. There's no separate store you have to go browse, no installing apps, none of that. You're just having a conversation. And you call an app by its name, and boom, it just appears, ready to help. So check this out. You can just type something totally natural, like Zillow, show me homes in Seattle under 800K. And instead of just getting a boring list of blue links, Zillow pops up an interactive map right there in the chat. You can pan around, you can filter, you can explore, all without ever leaving the conversation. It's pretty amazing. And it's not just for practical stuff either. Imagine you're brainstorming. You throw down a few bullet points, a simple outline, and then you just ask Canva to whip that into a polished slide deck right then and there. It completely blends these creative tools we already love directly into the workflow. And this isn't some tiny little beta test either. They launched with a really impressive lineup of partners right out of the gate. We're talking major players in travel, design, education, even music. This just goes to show you the massive range of possibilities from day one. You know, the head of AI over at Zillow, Josh Weisberg, he really nailed the whole feeling of this. He called it a conversational guide. The goal isn't just to add a feature. It's about making all this powerful technology feel more natural, more intuitive, more human. Okay, now let's switch gears and look at the other side of the coin. Because for every cool new feature we get as users, there's a massive, massive new opportunity for the people who actually build our favorite tools, the developers. If you are a developer, this is the only number you need to see. 800 million, that's the potential audience of ChatGPT users. Building an app here isn't about starting from scratch and hoping people find you. It's about plugging your tool directly into one of the largest audiences on the planet at the exact moment they need what you've built. And this table really shows you the difference. The old way? You had to fight for attention in a super crowded app store. The new way? Your app just shows up when someone needs it. Before, you had to build a whole interface from the ground up. Now, you just blend it into the chat. It is a total game changer for anyone who makes software. So you might be asking, how does all this work under the hood? What's the magic that makes it all tick? Well, you might be surprised to find out that it's all built on a foundation that's actually designed to be pretty open. So it all starts with what's called the Apps SDK. The easiest way to think of this is like the official Lego set for developers. It's open source, which is huge, and it gives builders all the little pieces they need to design both how their app thinks and how it looks. And the thing that makes all these different apps talk to ChatGPT is something called the Model Context Protocol, or MCP. This is basically a universal translator. It's the common language that lets the AI connect to all these external tools. And by making it an open standard, OpenAI is hinting at a future where these apps aren't just locked into ChatGPT. They could run anywhere that speaks this language. So this launch is clearly just step one on a much longer journey. Let's wrap things up by taking a look at the official roadmap to see what we can expect from this new app ecosystem in the near future. The rollout is happening in very clear stages. First, developers get the tools, the SDK. Then, the gates open up for app submissions, and we get a directory to browse. Super important, they're also planning for business and enterprise access early on. And the final piece of that puzzle, of course, is monetization. And that monetization part is really fascinating. 
OpenAI is creating a whole new open standard just for this, called the Agentic Commerce Protocol. This is designed for things like instant checkouts. I mean, imagine booking a flight or buying a product just by saying it, without ever having to pull out your credit card. That's the future they're building towards. And all of this, it brings us to one final really big question. Think about it. We went from typing commands, to clicking icons with a mouse, to tapping on glass screens. Are we now seeing the very beginning of the next great shift in how we interact with all of our technology? A future where we don't really click on apps anymore. We just talk to them. It's a pretty wild thought.